I'm here with Hua Wilfred Kofi of Cote d'Ivoire. Um, first round of the 200 meters in the World Championships, 20.49, fourth in your heat. Um, talk us through the race. How was it for you today? Oh, I felt great. I felt great. But I mean, like, after 1 1 uh, 50, I couldn't even change the uh, rhythm. So it was like a bit difficult for, for me. And I'm really disappointed about that. But I, but, but I gave my best shot. And then I hope uh, to make him the fastest loser. How has your season gone so far? Your season's best uh, is 20.41. 20 um, what have you been up to this season? In the season, I didn't like, I didn't compete that uh, much. It was major, major, major problem in, with my with my with my training and then some uh, injuries, and it was like a little bit bad for me. But I kept going, and then thanks thanks to God, I'm in the world champ, and I, I came for this. Thanks thanks to God for the health. Yeah. Where were you um, yesterday for the hundred meter women's final? Where did you watch it? Well, yesterday I was home. I wanted to watch it alone because it was like even a lot of pressure for me and for Mary as well. Uh, so I was pretty happy, pretty happy to see her get that uh, silver medal. That's a big, big achievement for her. I'm so glad for her. And then I said thank you to her, thanks to my uh, country, thanks to all the people who gave us the uh, support. Yeah. But it was so close to being Ivory Coast uh, and Africa's first gold in the 100 meters in the World Championships. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was close. But for us in the team, we know what uh, did happen because for Mary, uh, coach said, don't look at like left or right, just going straight. So I'm telling something, she even, she closed her eyes the whole run. She didn't even know that she was on the podium. So that was, she was just watching the thing and then she was like, I couldn't even dip because I had my, my eyes closed the whole race. So, I mean, she, she, did, she did it. Be second in the world is a big, big achievement. We missed like the goal. But uh, anyway, she's uh, still in her shape, and then there's more race to uh, come. Um, now, at some point in your career, you were studying in China, and so was she on a scholarship. Um, where are you now, and where do you train, and who's your coach? Yeah, I'm uh, still training. My coach now is uh, Steve uh, uh, Stewart, Mark Milan. We train at Al uh, Altis, Arizona Phoenix. So for my study, I'm still doing like the... I'm uh, last year for my uh, PhD. I did, I did my, my master's degree in 2014, so I'm done with that, and then that's my last year for the uh, PhD. So that was like, it was difficult for me to balance between school and uh, training. I hope to get my PhD title about the end of this year, and then keep it running if I got one. Now you're still in a fastest loser position to reach the semifinals for the 200. Um, what would you do differently? What are your hopes for the semis if you make it there? If I make it my hope for the semis, just try to make it to the final. Like, there's no calculus to do like there. Just hit it from zero to like to the end of the rest. That's what I'm going to do. And maybe you'll have to run a PB to make it to the final? Yeah, I know. Even if to run like the PB against PB, the PB against the final, I, I will uh, do it. But just to wait. If a God won't give me that uh, miracle to pass to a semifinal, I, I will be very happy. All right. All the best and good luck for the semifinal, hopefully. Thank you. God bless you.